going on everyone, it's Rich Lux and today's video girl, oh honey, you won't believe today's drama. We're gonna be checking out, swatching, reviewing, gossiping about the brand new Blood Sugar Palette by Jeffree Star. Yes ma'am, I freaking finally got it in the mail. I cannot, you know how long I've waited for this freaking palette? I bought it when it was on pre-order, okay? It took almost like, almost like more than a week, maybe two weeks to finally get, but it's right here in the flesh. The blood sugar, I don't know how it's gonna read on your end, but you can see it there. So let's open it together. Now I'm really surprised on the quality of packaging and I really do like the, you know, the white. So you can see here, it says cruelty free in the back. It has all the ingredients listed there and a little Instagram below, a little shout out there. So my only critique of this whole entire palette was I wish that this was gone and we just had the logo right here in the middle. I think it just would look much more clean. Um, almost like something like Chanel would do. They would just put like their logo in the middle, no words. I mean, the, the brand name says it all, right? So it kind of reminds me of like a, like if you remember, if you're like a fan of Louis Vuitton, it reminds me of the Petite Mal bag, which is like around $5,000. Kind of reminds me of that a little bit. So I was kind of interested to almost like destroying the palette. Let me try to open it for you. I'm struggling. Okay, here it goes. So here's the mirror. Yeah, there's a mirror there. And then you can see the, the body swats from this angle. Right there, <laughs> right there. And then you can see it says, uh, it has like some little signs, little logos. I'm gonna turn it around this way. And it almost feels like a like a cushion, like a kind of cushiony in there. So here's some of the colors. And I'm really excited and I don't even know why I'm reviewing this palette because what a lot of people don't know is that a while back, I don't even know why, oh, is that Jeffree Star blocked me. Girl, she freaking blocked me on Twitter, I think, and Instagram. I don't know why, I mean, I never, I mean, I always try to be honest, right? I never try to like dig below the belt or be like mean and malicious. So evidently I must've said something she didn't like. So Jeffrey, if you're watching these videos, get a sense of humor because I am not in no way coming for you or maybe you are afraid to have some type of secret tea I'm gonna expose, which is like not the case. I could care less, girl. Don't be bitter, be better because I don't know why you blocked me and if I offended you in any way, Miss Jeffrey, girl, I'm sorry. It's not that serious, okay? But I'm here and you know what? I'm kind of glad Jeffree Star blocked me because it puts me in the Hall of Fame of everybody else that he blocks. Like, it seems like every beauty guru who has millions of subscribers, he blocks. Let us go through, I mean, the body swatch knows, she doesn't lie. The names are Jackie Aina, supposedly he blocked. Nikki Tutorials, he blocked. Kat Von D, he's blocked. Nikita Dragon, I think he blocked. Laura Lee, and probably some people that we don't even know about. But he's blocked some people, so if he doesn't unblock me, I am in the Hall of Fame of people Jeffrey blocked. So that's something to run home and talk about. All right, so we are going to swatch this freaking palette and uh, give it a fair review. So here we go. It's kind of hard to open. Okay, there it goes. Bam. So I think we should start off with like this pink because I really do like it. Here it goes. Whoa, that is freaking pigmented. Okay, I didn't think it was gonna be like that. So boom, in your face. All right, so we're gonna try it on the body swatch. So we're gonna put this right in here. I mean, that's easy. Let me see. It does have a scent to it or is it just me? Okay, so here we go. We're gonna just go ahead and intensify it just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, cool. I mean, I can see it. I like it. So we're gonna try another color. Let's do something called, we're gonna try glucose and hopefully it'll come, it comes out the way. Whoa. Wow, okay, I'm shook about that one. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and swatch it again. Here we go, maybe a little lower, Whoa, right here. Pigmented the house, girl. I'm shook. Okay, I'm shook. The body swatch is shook too. Look at them moving around. Okay, so we are going to keep going. We're gonna try, ooh, I like this one. This is called Root Canal. So we're gonna give that a swatch here. Boom. Ugh. If you ever had a root canal, let, let me know the experience of it in the comments down below because I heard it's like one of the most painful experiences in the world. I don't know if it's true or not. So we're gonna try that. Boom. So the colors look a little bit better on me then in my opinion, looking on the body swatch. But then again, the other palette that we reviewed, which if you didn't know, I'll link it down below, you can watch that one. Those palettes look better on him than they did on me, which was this palette right here. So if you wanna watch it, you already know where to go in the link section down below, description box. Those came out way more better on his skin tone than they did on mine. So we're gonna try this color called Donor. 
And you can kind of see, once I picked it up a little bit, it looks like it's gonna be really... <gasps> okay, so far, I have been picking the colors I like, and they've been on point, okay? I haven't found one that, you know, I didn't like yet. Um, I think this has to be, so far, one of his best palettes. And we'll put this right in here. Boom. Oh, honey, that looks badass. I'm shook, because look how busted the house it looks on me, and then on him, it just glows in the night. I'm freaking shook, okay. So let me try hard and pick a color that's gonna be like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let's see. All right, we're gonna try Candy Floss, which is gonna be this pink one right in here. And we're gonna try it right here, boom. So that's like perfect inner corner of the eye type color. I think every palette has like that color that goes in the inner corner of the eye. And we'll put this one right, oh. That one is freaking sick, dude. Oh my gosh. If I had that skin tone, all of it would look good on me. Okay, so let's try something else. I ran out of fingers, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I cleaned my hands, but you can see some of the colors kind of stained it a little bit. I'm just gonna kind of like, I'm gonna push through and see, we'll go with this finger right here. Okay, so this color is called Prick and it has a picture of like a little needle. And so here we go. And so we're gonna put that right in there. So it's almost like um, like a soft red almost. I guess it was supposed to be like a red, but it came off kind of like soft here. So on the body swatch, um, we'll put it right in here. Boom. Yeah. I can, I can kind of see it. Let's go ahead and intensify it. We're gonna get a little more, just you know, so we don't be shady, girl. We'll put a little bit right in there. Boom. Looks pretty good. Wow. It matches the underwears. You know, come on, look at that. Match, match, girl. So we're gonna do sugar cane next. It's kind of like one of the neutrals. So boring, but you know, you gotta have it in the palette, you know? So that was it right there. It kind of came through. I kind of expected this one to do that based on what, you know, what it was looking at. I kind of like thought it would do that. But on the body swatch, so we'll do this right here. It came out pretty good. You know, sometimes I think I double dip just for like the excuse just to touch them. I think that's what it is sometimes. But yeah, I like the way that one came out on you. Good job, body swatch, love you so much. This one's kind of like stained, but I cleaned it off with like some makeup wipes and that's as good as I can get it. So we're gonna try this sparkling one right here. This one is called Sweetener. And let me get some. And we're gonna put some right in between these two. So, oh, it's almost like a copper, I'm a copper new tutorial. Okay, so here we go, on the body swatch, um, right here, boom. Yeah, it's kind of like a rose gold, but then keep in mind, like, it is kind of stained a little bit from the other color, so it kind of came off like rose gold with a little bit of pink in it. So you can combine those colors for your transition. We're gonna try this color right here, which is called Extraction, and here we go. Okay, it's like a burgundy, like a little burgundy color. All right, so we are going to go mm, right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's just there, and we'll do it again. Which is right here. I think it came out pretty good, actually. I'm happy with that, yeah. All right, guys, I'm back. I had to, like, wash my hands. Still, it is kind of stained, so just keep that in mind, which is not a bad thing, especially if you like being in makeup. You kind of want it to kind of be on there. But um, just keep in mind that it does kind of stain a little bit. So we're gonna do some of these darker tones down here at the bottom. So here's this color called Coma. It's like a really dark purple. And I kind of like how this side of the palette is kind of dark. Wait a minute, here you go. I know that's what you want to see. I kind of like how this part, part of the palette is kind of dark and this one's kind of light. So we're gonna try Coma. We're gonna put it right in here. And there's Coma. I can kind of see it already through here a little bit, which you can kind of see it there, but yeah. So this color right here, this color was chosen by the Body Swatch. It is Tongue Pop. And we are going to swatch it on him. Here we go. And we'll put it right in there. So there it is right there. Boom, Tongue Pop. Let's try it on my hand to see how it looks. Which everyone, like I have a friend of mine, no disrespect, she's probably gonna get mad and watch this video. But she always tongue pops. Stop tongue popping. But there it goes, so there is Tongue Pop. But keep in mind, my hand was stained just a little bit. 
so it might have rubbed off, but I think I, I think it was pretty much true to tone. Let's see on the body swatch came out pretty good there. So we're gonna try this color right here, which is called O positive, which is your blood type. I don't really know my my blood type, but I heard that there's like this whole diet that you should eat these foods depending on your blood type. It's like a thing or something, and people like that. There you go. I would say O positive was my least favorite color. All right, so I'm gonna try it on my hand here. And I don't know, it, look, it looks better on my hand, on my skin tone, and it, I think it does on his skin tone, but it's different in preferences. Everyone's skin tone is different, so sometimes colors are gonna pop more than others. That's just pretty much the truth of it, right? Don't you agree? Okay guys, so we're gonna end it with the name of the palette, Blood Sugar. There's a color called Blood Sugar, and it's almost like a metallic kind of red. So I would say this is like, like, because he named the palette Blood Sugar, so this one, this one I have high hopes for. So here's Blood Sugar, boom. That I, I actually kinda like it. So we're gonna do it on the body swatch, and we'll do it right up here. Damn, that looks pretty good on you. Wow. It looks better on you than it does on me. Wow, that's pretty good. Okay guys, so that was the review of the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. Overall, even though I made a mess of it, I was, I was kind of impressed by this palette, I think, in my opinion, even though she blocked me, not bothered. I'm really, really super excited about it. I do think that it's worth the money. It was kind of pricey. I don't think it was worth the wait, but it was worth the money. But as always, guys, if you like the video, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't like the video, send it to your haters so when they watch it, they lost 10 minutes of their life. They'll never get back. Don't forget, I do have merchandise down below and music on iTunes, so check it out if you want, and I'll see you in the next video. And if you like the body swats, give it a thumbs up, and we'll have him come back. Bye, love you so much.